I think I ordered 2,000. Uh, they came in mid-January. They sold out in like three weeks. I don't yeah, like talking tough. bad about Langley, yeah. but there are areas that at one point were pretty bad. Yeah. And there was a time in my life where like literally we couldn't afford new shoes and I, I shared all that and um, like we started, I get emotional every time I talk about it. Welcome. This is live from Langley, BC, the number one podcast in Langley, where we talk to local Langley residents and business owners about local Langley events and businesses. Today's guest is the founder of one of the fastest growing golf apparel companies in the entire world. And he happens to be a Langley resident and Brookswood Secondary alumni, which is how I know him. That's right. But Mr. Jamie Jarvis, thanks, sir, coming on today. Yeah, man. These look fly. Yeah, they're not bad. Yeah. This is my first, uh, actually, first hat uh, that is completely white, and I am not nervous at all because no. of the way that, the, that you made these, so yeah. I'm excited to get into that. Yeah. But just so, you know, quick quick background on who you are for anybody who's listening and doesn't know who you are. Yeah, so I was um, born in Langley, born at the Langley Hospital, um, raised in Langley. I think the furthest I've lived outside of Langley is Surrey. Um, me and my wife, we live in Walnut Grove. We got a little girl, a little girl there, and um, yeah, we both don't really see ourselves leaving. It's just Langley brings us everything we need. Um, I got family in Fort Langley. My mom's in Fort Langley. Grandparents in Fort Langley. She has family in Surrey, so it's just yeah, it's always been home. I don't, I don't see why I would leave. It's got yeah, everything we need. So awesome, yeah. yeah. Langley born and raised. Yeah, that's how it, that's how we like them on this podcast. Right. Everyone always reaches out and they're like, oh yeah. I mean, I drive through Langley. Yeah, like, no, no, not saying. Not, not, you gotta not, be here. You don't know. Yeah, what it's right. like. It's been crazy to see like the because um, like you and I have both been here since you know. Well, you were like you moved here from somewhere else, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been here since two thousand. So, right. but like you, I have not left. Yeah, no, I haven't stepped foot outside. No, and like just <laughs> seeing the growth is crazy. Like mm -hmm. every every time I go for a drive, it's like, oh, there's a new building. Oh, there's a new co condo. There's a new something. Literally every time I go out, it's, it's wild. It's really crazy. Yeah, and like yeah. two days, two three days ago, I drove past like down two hundred. Yeah. And today, going to pick up po Pokey Bar in Walnut Grove yeah. um, on 84th, and I turn down 86, and I see they're pretty much started on that high-rise building. Yeah. And I'm like, I knew it was coming. I, and I didn't know up, when. Yeah. It's up like 10, 15 stories Jeez, already. It's so know. fast. Wild. Yeah. So, like, it's crazy how fast that does yeah. things get built up here. And yeah. I mean, there's a sign outside this building that says, I remember when all of this was forest. Yeah, man, it's <laughs> crazy. It's wild. The good old days. And, yeah. I, and I mean, there, there, you know, there's growing pains with all of that, mm -hmm. as our, our friend Michael Pratt likes to say. Yeah, that's right. And uh, he was on here, and, oh, cool. and he was, uh, we were talking about how fast it's growing, but also, you know, um, it's needed, and um, yeah. they're doing as best they can. And I'm yeah. looking forward to seeing what they do moving forward. Totally. That, uh, like, you know, it's only a matter of time. But, yeah, yeah so... Congratulations! Yeah, like, thank you. You're uh, you're blowing up yeah, right it's now. Yeah, it's been crazy. It's been um, wild. Like you, I've seen you everywhere. Yeah. Right, you have a product right now that is stands out yeah. massively. Yeah. So I started winging it and I was getting good results. And uh, and now like there's videos I have running right now that have like you know 250,000 views on paid ads. So like 250,000 people are seeing my face, which is weird. Um, I don't know if I like it, but um, but yeah, I was actually just yesterday I was in Walnut Grove going through um, uh, getting dinner at Save On. One guy looked at me. Looked away for a second, looked back at me. He's like, oh, hey, how's it going? I, like, I have no idea who this guy is. I'm like, I don't know if he saw my ad or if he just knows me through somebody. I'm like, oh, oh it's going well. And he was actually wearing one of my hats. Oh, really? Yeah, no shit. He was wearing one of my hats. So, yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. That's hilarious. Yeah, because yeah. you have some stories, though, about, you know, running into people in the States, yeah. all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, my brother was at um, was at the U.S. Open, I think. And um, same thing, he was wearing one of the hats and another guy was wearing the hat and like they looked at each other. He saw my brother and he's like, oh yeah, I'm familiar with your brand. Um, it's really cool to see. And this was in Chicago. I think the US Open was just in Chicago. So mm. it's like totally random. But he was actually a Canadian playing um, for like some college in, in Chicago. But Wow, that's yeah, crazy. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, it just shows the virality of like, you know, online marketing. And it's powerful. Yeah. yeah. A guy that's actually um, I'm friends with who's taught me a lot. He's in this building, Jake. I forget how to pronounce his last name. Thon or Thon or Thon? I forget. Um, but he's taught me a lot and like I was just hearing some stories of what he's been able to do over the last couple of years And I'm like, I don't mean this disrespectfully. I was like if this guy can do it I can do it like I can figure this out and like it's been a year and a half of grinding and I think I've spent over Well, I spent a lot of money on Facebook ads and it's like it's finally now starting to pay off But it's like yeah, the internet's scary like how powerful it is and that's yeah, awesome Yeah, I mean it, you can scale that's the biggest thing scale. right so yeah. like any other type of sales, even business, mm -hmm. is so hard to scale because yeah. you're dealing with people, you're yeah. dealing on a, you know, you, you can't, you can't, yeah, and you 
got you can't compare that to like 100 orders in an hour no. for example no, which can't. is like instant Obviously, yeah. the fulfilling part, oh. we'll, we'll, we'll talk yeah. about that. Yeah, that's been fun. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen those videos. Don't ask my wife about it. She I've seen not, those videos. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. Those are date nights now, I guess? It's pretty much. It's yeah. It's pretty much every night. <laughs> so let's go back. Let's rewind. Yeah. How, how did you get started in this? What made you even think about you know yeah. going into the Gulf Apparel brand? Because even like my experience, my research on e-commerce mm-hmm. always said that you know apparel clothing is probably one of the hardest yeah. Uh, niches to get into because it's so competitive very yeah Uh, yeah I just so how it started like about a year and a half ago um, we were gonna have our daughter and I'm like okay I want to start making more money so I started playing with different ideas doing more of like the drop shipping method with um, different golf accessories and I had a little success not much Um, and then I started to like bring those devices to golf courses and to sell them to golf courses and like right away golf courses were buying it which was cool like the different fixer that I just gave you stuff like that Um, and then uh, I was like, it'd be cool. Well, I, I heard of a concept. It's um, you can be like a brand representative. So you can represent like Titleist, Callaway, one of these brands. And you can go in and be like, I'm the, the Titleist rep by my, you know, clubs. But I also have, my plan was to bring on like my divot tools and my, all my other stuff, but use like Titleist as the brand to get me in the door. And I just thought like, well, if I'm going to work this hard to get Titleist or somebody else. And I'd, I'd come up with a company. There was a company that was going to let me do it in BC. I just thought like, and it was a golf hat company. And they're like, um, I thought to myself, like, if I'm going to work so hard getting someone else's brand into golf courses, like, I'm going to do it, like, I might as well try it for myself. So this was, like, December 2021, and I was on Canva. I was like, okay, the first thing I need to do is come up with a name. So I, I like, I, I tested my last name. I tested, like, weird different names, and then Birdie stuck out. I'm like, okay, that's cool. I can work with that. Then I threw it in the little round logo. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm like, oh, I'd like to see that on a brown patch. And then I, I put it on a brown patch, and I mocked it up on a black hat. And I was like, that looks cool. Uh, then I went and I previously like 10 years ago, I was messing around with an apparel brand. So I kind of knew where to go to get stuff. So I went back to that and, um, uh, I was like, you know, this is the hat I want. Can you make it? The guy showed me some samples of like other patches on the same hat. And I'm like, done. Yeah. Send it to me. And that guy's local. No, this is overseas right now. Oh, yeah. I'm working on local. There are local options. And when I first started, I was like, Hey, I want 50 hats. And they're like, we wouldn't do it for 50 hats. And now I tell them, you know, we sell thousands in a month and now they're like, okay, maybe we'll talk about it. So eventually I'm the goal is all Canada, everything Canadian can't do it quite yet, but that's the goal. Um, but yeah, we brought them in. I started giving them to friends and family. They started buying them and they're going to tell you what you want to hear. Oh, it's great. I love it. Awesome hat. Then I started going to like Facebook golf groups. So like throughout Canada and said, Hey, this is my hat. This is what we're doing. Um, started selling, started getting orders and I'm like, okay, that's a good sign. So I brought in some more and like the test of like, if you have a good e-commerce brand, in my opinion, is like throwing ads out there and see if complete strangers will buy. And like, I remember the first day I probably spent like $50 on ads, didn't sell anything. You know, I started to ramp it up and test it. And then I remember getting the first sale of a stranger in like wherever it was, Ontario, bought it. I'm like, okay, that's a good sign. Like if somebody that doesn't know me, doesn't know the brand, bought the hat, like that's a good sign. Um, so I just kept messing with the ads, messing with the website, optimizing everything. And um, like you said, scalable. So I was doing like $100 a day in ads and then I ramped it up to like 500, then I ramped it up to 1,000. And like, I'm just looking at the numbers at the end of the day, I'm like, this all makes sense. Like, you know, I'm not making a ton of money, but like there's money, there's profit. Um, so like, yeah, there's three months in last summer where I did $10,000 a month, three months in a row. Um, and then we sold out of the hats. This was about October. And I was like, okay, I'm going to catch my breath because October is when golf, start, golf courses start buying hats and, and golf town, they start looking at the hats. So I ordered a bunch. I think I ordered 2000. Uh, they came in mid January. They sold out in like three weeks. Um, and the, the sales kept coming. And that was at the uh, stores or is that That was online? separate. That was all yeah. online. Like I, I got like golf town, they bought 1400 from us, which I haven't delivered yet, but they're getting delivered soon. And then we're in like, it's going to be just over 20 courses now. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that was all online. And then the hats kept selling. I didn't have enough. So I was like, I, co- I contacted my manufacturer. I was like, I need more hats now. And it just, it's been a, it's been a gong show, but not like, luckily now I have like about a thousand, 1200 in my house that we're fulfilling every day. And then uh, another 1500 are going to get made and shipped on um, the 17th of May. Um, but yeah, like what month was it? February, not even a, a golfing month. That's when I had the ma- majority of my hats still, still with me. So I like, I cranked the ads right up and like, we had a ridiculous month. Like, and if, if I, if I had hats and I could have kept it going, I would have been, I would be doing six figures every single month. Uh, but I ran out. So now that the hats are coming in, I'm going to like, I have a couple ads testing right now, like on a very small um, budget, but I'm just waiting. Like as soon as these new hats come in, I'm cranking it up and, and see, see if it just continues to do, do, it. do it. So you, so you started with Facebook ads, Facebook ads. Yeah. Which a lot of people say is dead. It's not, it's not, yeah, <laughs> you just have not. to find the right way to use them. Yeah. I, yeah. It's and then, and then, 
So that's really how you've been scaling. That's the majority of your, yeah. uh, your your revenue right now is through Facebook ads. And then, <clears throat> so what was the point of even going in store? The first part was just volume. Like I wanted to get like more hats that I could buy and, and negotiate the price down. Um, Golf Town helped with that tremendously. Like I, their first order was 900 and they just bought another 1400. So being able to say like, you know, I need to buy 2000 hats at a time. It just got the price down. And it sounded cool being able to say I was in Golf Town. I like to be able to, you know, put that on my website so people could see some brand recognition. Um, and yeah, it's just like dealing with a golf course is so, so it's, it's a lot easier. You know, I have to deal with refunds. I have to deal with shipping on every single order and it's, you know, it can be a lot of work, but like golf course, you deliver, you know, 48, 72 hats and like they deal with all that. So it's kind of nice. But, um, right. But yeah. If you're not online, like you need, I, I feel like a brand, any brand, whether it's a personal brand or a physical brand, like you have to be online now or you're, you're going to be irrelevant if you're not already. So mm-hmm. yeah, that's that, that, I mean, yeah, that, that's well, like, that's where you can scale. Cause otherwise yeah. you're. You're literally running around. You're still kind of running around, but yeah, at yeah. least it's you know it's, it's you're doing more in bulk and yeah. you can get more out there. Yeah. Uh, let's quickly pause right now. How's the sound on his side? Because the, the mic's a little bit far out. Yeah, I think you should uh, make it a bit. Okay, just want to make sure. If not, we can do it. Yeah, because <laughs> like it's, it's okay. 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 Um. So speaking of Golf Town and all these other storefronts, brick and mortar. Everyone's trying to get away from brick and mortar. So how did you even get in there? Um, how it started was um, me and my mom. We So I had names of a lot of golf course owners, not owners, uh, managers, from when I was trying to get in the other tools. So I had all their names, and I'm like, how can I get my product in their hands in a way that nobody else really is? So I um, I made up, like, these fake birthday cards and these and put them in, like, these fake birthday – well, they were real birthday bags, but it was like, happy birthday, um, Steve, and then, like – I read down, like the next line. I was like, I know it's not actually your birthday, but I wanted to try and get get my hat in your hands. Um, we did that like I think we did 15 golf courses, and like over half were like that day. We're like, yeah, well, you know, we'll buy 24 of your hats. I'm like, okay, sweet. And I don't know why I haven't done that. I haven't done that since, and I want to. I want to like get every address of every golf course and send it to everybody in little happy birthday bags. Um, so that's how it started, and then the, right around that time is when I transitioned more into e-commerce. Um, so it just I have to do that again because it worked. It was awesome. Yeah. Did you learn that from Tony Robbins? No, I, I learned like how to stand out, you know, right. how to be different, how to be but like, different. yeah, I don't know where I got, yeah, I don't know how it I've came I've heard up. that. So the reason I asked that is because there's a bunch of, you know, sales programs out there. Yeah. Like, for example, Grant Cardone, right? So Grant Cardone has some sales methods yeah. like that one. Yeah. Send them a box with your shoe in it and then say, oh, I was just trying to get my foot through the door. Yeah, or right. Like that, right. Yeah, I've heard that. And so they're like, oh, that's funny. Let me call this yeah. guy. Yeah. You know? Yeah, kind of like ah. Uh, yeah, I, give I got a call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I figured that. Well, but, it's. I will say what they what a lot of companies like to do, especially in the coaching, like it, it it always starts with something free. Like you'll see an ad, like here, you know, a free home assessment, a free coaching session. So like I kind of took that mentality, mm-hmm. like start with something free, and then and then you can ask. Yeah, I think to ask for something before you add value is you know doesn't make yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't make. People are numb to it now. Yeah, right. So yeah. totally, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I want to backtrack all like way back because yep. we got right into the business yeah. and uh and there's actually now that you mentioned tony robbins too i i totally forgot about that yeah. so like i want to like feel like everyone always sees the end result yeah right um let's finish talking about the business because we're already in it mm-hmm. um uh, so so you got into you got an e-commerce that's your main source yeah then you started getting into all of these storefronts yeah and then you went and well fulfilling you know for a lot of people they don't know that's that's where the work comes in yeah (laughs) yeah so what have you been doing for that um my wife and i boxing up orders from when we put our daughter down till last night it was nine o'clock 9 30. um the carrier i use now they do usually two pickups a a week so well like right now before i left i had to put out all our orders as well 75 orders um that they're going to pick up and ship out for us Uh, i'm gonna that same carrier does like complete fulfillment so i think that's what i'm going to do with my next batch of hats send them to them and it's like a couple dollars in order and they'll they'll box it out ship it deal with re- returns refunds all that stuff because i can't keep doing this like and so when does that start to make sense um yeah, i mean it depends like it, it makes sense now just from a time standpoint like i don't want to waste not, not waste or spend any more time than i have to on like the operations you know when i can you know film more videos of myself in the hat and put them out there you know um it does make sense right now and it took a while. Like I found this company a couple months ago, and I was like, okay, I just want to wait and see how I do, see how I do. It's like now I just got to do it because it's it's at the point. Like in a day, we can do a hundred orders, and I'm like, you know, I don't want to box a hundred orders a day. It's like so. Would somebody new that's starting out, like yeah, would, 
they wouldn't go straight into no them. and like a lot of these companies they ask for like a minimum you know 500 orders a month before they'll do it so yeah you kind of got to get it to that point and then and then they'll entertain gotcha gotcha yeah. Yeah, yeah that makes sense yeah um because yeah like i said they're like sometimes right if, if your face isn't the brand and, and you're not your day isn't full with podcasts or yeah, yeah, yeah. meetings, right? Yeah. Obviously, if you're busy doing something else, but you gotta see where your 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 time, your money re- generating. Uh, you gotta see where your revenue generating time yeah, is being spent, totally. right? Yeah. So if that is boxing up the orders at that time, then I guess that's yeah. what you do. But um, you get to a point where you're like, okay, well, I need to enjoy yeah. all this work I'm yeah. putting in. Yeah. So now that you pass it off, take a little bit of a cut. Yeah. And then you go from there. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. So when I was ordering your hat, because this wasn't free, by the way. No, yeah, no, he did pay. Yep, he did I, pay. I, I, I almost, I paid for two almost. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> um, the first one didn't go through. Yeah. Because I've, I've been trying to get my hands on these, and um, you were always sold out. Yeah. And then it's funny, because I remember the first time I went on your website, mm-hmm. and I checked the price. I'm like, damn, these are $50, Yeah. right? Yeah. So I think that time I didn't, I didn't, yeah. I didn't order it. Yeah. Then the second time, I'm like, okay, well, because that was golf season was ending, so I'm yeah. like, oh, I won't even need it. Yeah. So this time around, I'm like, I need to get them this time. Yeah. And then I click on it, and it goes from fifty, and then you got your 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 thank you uh, price there. Yeah. And I was like, wow, I could have yeah. just bought it. Yeah. You know, six months ago. Yeah. That's a that's a smart idea. Um, yeah. Because usually, what you see is on the front end, just like sale yeah. discount and then i feel like that used to work yeah. people would be like oh my god i'm getting such a great deal but now people are starting to realize oh well that's just to get us to ma- click on it then yeah. there's all these fees yeah so you're actually going the complete opposite, opposite. direction yeah no sales up front not even promoting yeah. it and then once they've clicked through and they're checking out yeah now you're like okay here's the thing yeah yeah so it's like i I structured it like there's there is a little one when you get to the site there's a little pop up like it's not like the ones you usually see where it's like in your face you can't see the website but how I structured it is like here's X amount off and then in brackets I put and there's also a surprise waiting for you at checkout oh. and then when you go to checkout it's like I know we said X amount off but it's actually Y amount off and they convert like it, it converts very well yeah that just goes back on the old saying uh, you gotta under promise and over deliver yeah, yeah. because that is huge yeah right? and any and any business right yeah. if you if you especially even with shipping because that's the biggest one right when, yeah. when when shipping takes long yeah you're like you know screw this I'm gonna cancel my order because yeah. it's not getting there in two days like Amazon yeah. Prime <laughs> yeah thanks Jeff yeah thanks for setting that standard it's really great for a small business um, yeah. and then so but you're still doing a good job yeah yeah it's like I I tried my best to be as transparent as possible. Like, you know, I'm not going to lie to somebody and say your hat's coming there tomorrow when I know it's like, you know, it might take another week. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's tough transportation. It's bad, no, it's not. It's not. But again, Jeff set the standard of next day, whatever you want. So that's what people are used to. Or how Joe, Joe Coy says, like, or somebody, there's a comedian who's like, I know. right now. Yeah, I, I want right it in now. my face the right moment, now. The moment I think about it, I In my hand, yeah. I laugh so hard. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so, so, but how long does it usually take you? Mm. So like I'm fulfilling orders today that came through over the weekend up until what was yesterday Tuesday. So that um, the guy is coming today to pick up the orders from like the previous couple days, and then the ones that are getting boxed up tonight and tomorrow they'll get picked up Friday. So it changes every week, but like usually it's like a Tuesday, Thursday, or Wednesday, Friday that he'll come and grab them. Um, like transit times really like sometimes they'll arrive in you know three days, which is good. Sometimes going to like Nova Scotia it's like seven days, which there's nothing I can do. Like I had one guy, he got upset with me. He's like, this is taking forever and you charge too much for shipping. And I'm like, sometimes we actually lose money on shipping because like, it's not one set rate. You know, it's cost me $25 to sh- send, you know, a $30 hat at times, but I don't charge that to them. I was like, you know what? I apologize. That's how much, you know, this is, this is how long it's going to take. And he made a comment and he's like, and your, your shipping's, you know, I forget the word he said. He's way too high. I'm like, and actually we spent, you know, this much on your shipping. So we're actually losing money on this order. And he didn't say anything back. And I wasn't lying. We actually over, we paid more than what we quoted him in shipping just to, you know, people have it in their mind, like, oh, I'm not going to spend $25 on shipping and neither would I, but you know, we have a set rate. And I've definitely spent more than $25 on shipping, especially um, from the States. Yeah. Right? And, and then on top of that, you get charged taxes. Yeah. Sometimes oh duties God. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I just got an order from the States and uh, I already paid like 30, 40 bucks for shipping and then gets to the house. Uh, we need somebody to pay sixty dollars. I'm like, are what you the, kidding? Yeah, like, yeah. Cut, it's, why? Yeah. They're not. I'm not getting a discount. Yeah, from the states. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably paying more. Yeah, once it's converted. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's brutal. But that's not bad. A week. No, it's yeah. That's not bad. I would say on all. average is is a week. And and so did you do that on purpose then, like by trying to stay, you know, 
get them in, do everything local. Yeah. Uh, you're saving probably two, three weeks by doing that. Yeah. Um, instead of doing the whole drop shipping method, because you could do that. I so. did, yeah, I looked into it. I don't know if um, yeah, I don't know if I can. I'm not sure. Like, I could do it if I didn't like put my brand on the hats so for sure. Like, I could just you know s sell the hat without the logo. But I don't know if I could. I haven't really looked into it. I'm looking into that for um golf shirts because there's like some Canadian drop shipping golf shirts where they they have their own style of golf shirt, their own material, and they'll like they'll private label or whatever it's called and they'll drop ship it. So I might, I think that's what I'm going to do next. Like that's how I'm going to expand this year, but mm -hmm. yeah. So is that announced yet that you're doing shirts? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> actually I, I brought in the first 25. Um, oh, they're, they're blank and actually my um, sister-in-law is putting the logo on for me like right now. Um, and then we're going to like do a test drop of 25 and see how they go. And then we're going to do some more. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so now you know. Yeah, uh, they're in coming. The works, yep. golf shirts. Yeah, coming soon. Yeah, are they also having the same technology? We didn't even talk about that. Yeah, no, this is like golf shirts. A waterproof golf shirt is more of like a plastic bag, so we're not going to do that. It's just more of like you know a typical polyester where it's got some some flex to it and spandex. Um, but yeah, the, the hats themselves have a waterproof coating. Uh, sorry, water resistant. You can't, you can't say waterproof because if it's waterproof, it's like five times the price. Um, but it's water resistant. And I've tested it out. Like you've seen some of my videos probably where I'm pouring like soy sauce on. And there, there are times like where I tested the wrong product and I look at it, I'm like, okay, you know, it doesn't resist ketchup when I smear it all over it. Mm. And I had one guy actually do that. And he's like, oh, just so you know, it doesn't resist this. I'm like, you know what? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not meant to, but it was just a way to kind of show that it is, it does wick water. It does a really good job of doing that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was just looking for some sauce because we got... Um, there's there's no soy sauce. I'm yep. like, let me pour it all over my head. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it could... <laughs> Well, we're all white, so yeah. I don't want that. Yeah. But no, that's always, uh, yeah, when you're, especially with white, yeah. I hate buying white anything. Yeah. I'm all white today. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, because of stains, yeah. right? And it's, then it's like brutal to get them out. And yeah. and then and if you wash them with the wrong, you know, clothes, they yeah. get darker. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, this is. Uh, it's very resilient. Specifically, that's why I got the white one, yeah. right? Because, yeah. like I said, never had a white hat yeah. because of that exact reason. Yeah. I still have my the, the original hat that I got in that I wore. It, it sits beside my desk at home, and, like, it looks weathered, but it doesn't look like I – because I wore it every single day for, like, six months. Like, you know, I wear my I wear Birdie's hats every single day regardless, and this one I wore a lot. And, like, it looks good. Like, it doesn't look like, like it should. And I, like, I, I work out in them. I golf in them. I work in them. I do everything in them. And, yeah, they, they really withstand – well, and so you can throw them in the wash and yeah, just I I would scrub if like there was a couple times where I was trying um I actually took the white hat out and I put it in dirt and I remember my wife was watching me she's like what are you doing I'm like I just want to test it and see if it works and I was like yeah in the in the backyard rubbing dirt all over it and that's the first like cleaning video I took was that hat and I um I just brought it into the into the um, uh, kitchen and I just did soap and water and. Yeah, like I, I didn't know it was actually going to clean that well. And like Nikki's like, you probably just ruined a hat. I'm like, I've got to try it and see if it works. And yeah, it came out like brand new. But there have been times, I forget what I tried, but something where it didn't it didn't come out. So like I'm not saying go and put, you know, red wine or soak them in red wine because there's a chance it's going to get stained. But um, for the most part, it does a good job of. Well, then you cleaning. can come up with a new color tone for them. The, yeah, that's a red wine. A little ca camouflage, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Burgundy red wine. Yeah. Um, that's awesome, man. That's exciting. Um, it's cool to see, you know, there, we have a lot of businesses on here, local businesses, and, uh, you're the first of, I think there's a few others, uh, that I know who are trying to do it online and, and mm -hmm. they're very successful. Right. Yeah. But that being said, you don't, you live here, you do business all over the world, Yeah. but you also give back. Right. Right. So yeah. that's a huge thing um, that you guys, you've always done. Yeah. Right. Because I even remember back in, I don't even, you didn't even have a business before. No. Um, and you were doing those. Uh, Shoes for the um, kids. Yeah. yeah. So you were doing kind of like, I, uh, what would you call that? Is that just a sponsorship or yeah. sorts? Yeah. It was actually harder than I thought to find kids in need. So we eventually just started going with, um, with Jumpstart and teaming up with them because they oh, have, yeah. yeah, they have all the resources. But like at the start, I was like, find me kids that need stuff and I will buy it, like pay for it. And it, it started with a fundraiser. Um, well, it actually started um, to incorporate Tony Robbins. Um, like he's huge into giving back. Like he's sponsored over, or he's coming up on a billion meals sponsored to people who need meals. And it's kind of how I got um, got the idea. And I did a goal setting workshop um, at one of his events. And it, this wasn't really a goal. It was just something cool that I wanted to do. I wanted to find um, a kid that needed shoes and buy him shoes. So I did it. Uh, and then I didn't do it for a couple of years. I'm like, you know what? I want to, I want to do it. I want to do it a little bit bigger. Um, so I'm going to share a bit of my story, which, you know, is hectic and I had a bit of a gong show growing up, uh, you know, dealing with drugs and all that crazy stuff. Um, so I shared a bit of that, and there was a time in my life where, like, literally we couldn't afford new shoes, and I, I shared all that, and, um, like, we started – I get emotional every time I talk about it. Tell you come from a good place when, yeah. you're, when you're doing things like this because, uh, honestly, like, 
a lot of people look at things like that and they look at it and they're like, oh, well, he's just doing it for, you know, clout and like, you know, just wants to be looked at as doing the right thing and all that. But realistically, like when you get that opportunity, yeah. like I'm the same way, like growing up, you don't come from a lot. And now that you have yeah. something that you can also, you know, give to the community, yeah. give to family members. Yeah. Right. Um, and you have that opportunity. You, you do whatever you can. Yeah. So uh, it takes a lot to yeah. be able to, to do that. Yeah. So good for you. Yeah. Well, like I just remember vividly, I, I put up the GoFundMe the night, you know, not thinking the goal was to raise $250 and I was going to match $250 and raise $500 for kids and buy five pairs of shoes. And like the next day we had a ton of money. I was just like, yeah, it was crazy. But then I had a ton of money and I didn't have any kids to help. I was like, what do I do? You know? So I, um, yeah, we did like some different sponsorships with Brookswood secondary and, I was able to find some kids and, and then eventually I was just like, you know what, I'm going to donate the money to, to Jumpstart because they, they know what they're doing. So. And then that's now your partner, Jump, Jumpstart, yeah, we, or where, do you, where is that? Recently I've been going from month to month to different charities. So yeah, we've donated thousands to Jumpstart. Um, Make-A-Wish was one of them. Kids Sport was one of them. Actually, the Tony Robbins Foundation was one of them. Um, uh, Taylor Jamea, if you know Taylor, she has Choose, Find, Choose Kind. Um, it's Choose Kind, Choose Kind Foundation. So she, another crazy story, like when me and my brother were in the, like, worst situation of our lives our our mom was a heavy drug addict we were living downtown langley going to douglas park um the, like the only meal we would get in a day was the like the free cheerios and stuff that they gave kids in our situation and uh there was like after school programs and that's kind of like what kept us okay for that for that part of our our life um i get too emotional i don't like it it's okay um but now uh taylor works in that um program oh cool yeah so we um we completely funded their their basketball program. Oh, nice! Yeah, it's just cool. Is that a, where is that? Pro, uh, Douglas Park in Langley. So I went there. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh shoot! I went there so until like I was. Those little portables that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I went. That's the boys and girls club. Yeah, exactly. So like the before school breakfast that they have there. Yeah. Yeah, I get dropped off there sometimes too, but it's like we went and then we'd stay there after school. Yeah. Um, just because you know parents working and stuff, yeah. but. Yeah, that's uh, that's an amazing program, yeah. and it, and I'm glad that it's still around. Mm -hmm. um, they've they've definitely put some money into that. I used to also go there for like summer camps, yep. right? In the summer. Yeah, that's an awesome, awesome. Yeah, awesome I'm, I'm glad they have that there because it does keep kids out of trouble. Totally. Right? Going to Douglas Park, especially. Yeah. I don't yeah, like talking tough. bad about Langley. Yeah. But there are areas that at one point were pretty bad. Yeah. And uh, Douglas Park area. You know, especially when I was in, in like what between two thousand to two thousand five, maybe. Yeah, around that time. Yeah. yeah. So I was and I was at Douglas Park around that time, and that area wasn't too nice. No. And uh, my mom made sure that we were going to the boys and girls club because otherwise we'd be going on the street right after school with right all these other Langley. kids yeah. that are around that area yeah. and you know mix with the wrong people. Yeah. Right. So. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I'm grateful that they had that. Yeah. <clears throat> haven't been able to do too much with them. I know there's other uh, colleagues of mine that, that, that do program, like yeah. they do sponsorships with them, and I've been looking for something, yeah. which is like uh, th even if it comes to doing something with Brookswood, right? Yeah. So I saw you doing that. Yeah. That inspired me. I was like, man, I want to do something like that. I think yeah. I messaged you or something at one point. Yeah. Um, but that's really cool. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's uh it's one of those things where if you're not giving back if you're not helping a cause like it, it doesn't it, you're not filling anybody else's no. cup so like good for you Thanks, good yeah. for maybe your family too when you're doing well but if yeah. you don't go above and beyond yeah yeah i don't uh, get this emotional when i have a really big sales day you know i don't sit there and cry and say oh go, go me like i it's great it's cool and it's gonna pay off one day but no it's like that's a part of why i do it like you know i'm not gonna say i don't want money and i don't want nice things because i do but you know if i can't make a difference and then i don't want it so mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, I mean, from great struggle, you come out and, uh, yeah. you know, you're doing big things. Yeah, thank you. Um, uh, Tony Robbins yeah. keeps getting brought up, yeah. and everyone's like, why? <laughs> uh, how about you share Yeah. <laughs> what Tony Robbins has to do with Jamie? Yeah, so a long time ago, we um, when I was living with my grandparents, part of the gong show growing up as we moved, I think it was over 15 times before we graduated high school, to between mom, dad, grandparents, obviously, um, a lot of new faces. One of the new faces, I remember on Christmas, I think it was Christmas, um, my aunt was bringing a new friend. And and I remember I was at my grandparents, me and my brother had to slick our hair to the side, we had to wear a tie, We were. it was like the president was coming to the house. And we didn't know, 
right? And then, you know, just like you'd imagine, a big black limo comes up and a big guy in a big black suit comes out, larger than life, like, you know, Tony. It was Tony, just so you guys know. Um, pops out of the pops out of the limo and we do Christmas dinner. And it was like, you know, I didn't know who he was, but I could tell, like, okay, this is somebody that, you know, this is somebody. And then, like, throughout the years, um, him and my, my, my aunt actually ended up getting married. Uh, they've been married just over 25 years, I think, right around 25 years. And then, like, as I get older, I realize, oh, this guy is somebody. Like, he, he, he does a lot of good, and he's, yeah, one of the most impactful humans, I think, that has ever walked the planet. Like, he's, he's next level. Um, so, yeah, like, we went to our first Tony event when I think I was 12. Wow. Been, been to close to 20 in that amount of time. It's amazing. Yeah, and sponsored. I mean, I, like, you know, I, I thank him for it because, like, we don't have to pay for them, like, knock on wood. I would pay for them. Like, I remember I had paid. I put a deposit on an event, or I didn't put a deposit. I paid for the whole thing. It was $3,000 of his event that I wanted to go to. And they're just like, no, like, you can go. It's fine. Just go. Um, <laughs> um, but I was like, no, like, I want to pay for it because I like it. Um, but, yeah, I, I didn't have a say. I, my money was refunded, and I went to the event. But That's yeah. just an incredible opportunity to have yeah. that since 12. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I know that. Yeah, it's wild. It's like, and, like, now that I'm older, it's like so much – so much of what I've learned is just like, you know, it's just in me now, you know, it's like, oh, I, don't, yeah. I don't have to try to like, you know, I'm not saying I don't have bad days or like have bad decisions or have bad moments, but it's like, you know, it's brought me a lot of good, like a ton of good yeah. and, and like not so much, you know, even financially, like that's, you know, it helps, but like being able to deal with that, going through like, you know, dealing with a mother who's, you know, on heroin and seeing needles throughout the house and like crazy stuff and seeing her go through crazy stuff and, you know. Yeah, it's wild. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, like, to think, like, I've only heard Tony through my headphones. Yeah, right. right? And the amount of impact he's had on my life. Yeah. No event, yeah. no, uh, hardly any video. It's yeah. just, like, every morning yeah. when I go to the gym. Nice. Uh, like, listening, either I, I've had, you know, I've gone through his audiobooks. Or, he's got a ton of them, yeah. Or he's in a few of the speeches, motivational speeches I listen to every mm -hmm. morning. And it's just, like. Yeah. It's crazy. Every time I hear his voice, I get goosebumps. Yeah, yeah, that's me and too. And like, yeah. you've been able to actually go there, though. Yeah. You've actually been able to spend time with him. So yeah. like, I can imagine the amount of impact he's had on your life and yeah. how much he's been able to help you. So that's that's insane. It's crazy. Yeah, I think I, I did the math. It's like I've I've watched him talk on stage for hundreds of hours. I think it's like five hundred hours. I've seen him talk on stage, which is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, know he's uh, and so like. Is he, is he come out here for any, he should have an event here. <laughs> I know he did. He, that's actually where my aunt and him met was a Vancouver event like oh, okay. 25 years ago. Um, and that's, I think his, one of his first events ever was in Vancouver, like 50, not 50, 40, mid 40 years ago. Um, but yes, he should. Um, but yeah, like he, um, he lives with my grandparents in Fort Langley. They, they share a house. Um, he doesn't come here as much as he, as they used to, but yeah, no, he's, um, crazy guy like you see him on stage you see him on screen it's like there's tony robbins but then like it, you know he's tony like when you're just sitting there at dinner it's it's cool to see yeah, yeah no i could not imagine yeah <laughs> you just see the on stage yeah he yeah he does the room like that no no, no yeah, doing his little spins. Christmas, just like yeah <laughs> everybody stand up <laughs> no not quite no yeah it's just like, that's like one thing that you know i've really learned from him is like being able to like turn it on when you need to turn it on and being able to shut it off when you need to shut it off and it's like you know he he was go 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 for the first like 45 years of his life and he's still go go he's go still like yeah. he hasn't slowed down yeah. I mean, he's one of the people that just keeps getting bigger and bigger and yeah. bigger yeah yeah he's like crazy 63 and, and he's he works hard than me i know it for a fact you know but. yeah no it's 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 cool to hear you know his story it's cool to see how he's impacted you and yep. you know what you've been able to build because of that obviously your own efforts um but but at the same time there could have been tons of people offered that same mm -hmm. same hand mm -hmm. right and it could have gone a completely totally. different way yep. so a lot to say about you there yeah thank um, you. so yeah congratulations on your success i want to get into this uh, local yep. Walnut Grove Pokey Bar that, that just opened up it's before delicious. we run out of time. I've been there a couple times. It's yeah. great. And they open a little bit earlier, so you okay. don't have to wait till lunchtime. Yeah. 11 a.m. They're Perfect. open. So, um, yeah, they're really good. It's a chain from what I gather. I thought oh, it was it? a local, you know, uh, one, one, one I thought shop. it was two. It's not? No, they have a, a few locations. I think uh, a lot of them are in B.C., though. Oh, cool. But, um, yeah, they're unreal. Yeah. I Talking about food, yeah. Um, and on this podcast all the time, I would not have eaten this food three months ago. Yeah. Well, obviously, this is you know beef, beef yeah, ter beef teriyaki pretty much. Yeah. Except with um, bulgogi. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm sure. but that's really good. That's the noodles. Yeah. Um, but the raw tuna. It's so good. No chance. Yeah. No chance. Yeah. No. I, I when I I think it was Cactus Club that got it on to me first. They had this ahi tuna bowl. I'm like, whatever. I'm gonna try it, and it's delicious. And then yeah, I just. 
probably once every other week I'll go to this place and grab a grab a bowl. So good. It's so good for you too. Yeah. So like now I can finally be healthy. You doing it? Yeah, let's get yeah. into it. So let's, let's try it. the tuna first. Okay. Mom, look, this is for you because she I like never tuna? ate this. Oh. I never ate raw fish ever in my life. And now I'm doing it and my mom's not making these. No, it's a it's a choice. Yeah, it's a little good. You got the spicy kind? Mm, no, this one's a garlic mayo. Oh, okay. Actually, I had the firecracker one. Oh, that's what it is. So it's not the spiciest, mm -hmm. but... It's got something in it, though. Yeah, there's a kick for sure. Mm -hmm. So that's the firecracker sauce. This is the tuna bowl. Yeah. Um, it has cucumbers. You have, like, uh, what are those green beans? What are they called? What is this green? What is this, like, seaweed? There's seaweed in it, yeah. What are those beans called again? Think of like sensei beans from uh, Dragon Ball Z, but I know that's not what they're called. <laughs> and then they have, and I don't know if this is real crab. Is it? I think it is real crab. Probably. I find their ingredients are always super fresh. So good. Mm -hmm. And you can eat them cold because we always wait till the end. Yeah. And everything we buy yep. is always cold. So this is actually better. This is how it's meant to be. Yeah. Yeah, like I could just sit here and not oh, talk I'm for, finish this for yeah. sure after. Yeah. Yeah. I'm finishing the two now, Mom. Mom. Yeah, that's so good. Mm -hmm. I haven't had the beef one yet. Yeah, that's a safe bet. Mm -hmm. um, the, the um, what's it called? The noodles are, the texture is super weird, mm. but they're good. They're kind of like slimy. Yeah, I'm just dipping into it. Well, oh, I, I didn't even notice it. They hard when they're slimy. Yeah. But, come on. Yeah, I wasn't going to do the chopsticks for you today, but. Yeah, I know. That would have been. I always start with the chopsticks, and then by the time I get to the bottom, it's like I I can't get those single rice with the chopsticks. Yeah, I don't know how uh, some people use it as a spoon. Like I can get it right into the, like pick up a grain of rice. Oh yeah, yeah. Time. No, I don't. I don't get it. Oh, speaking of uh, Dragon Ball Z, Z. Dragon those cartoons, just when they eat the the rice, yeah, just da, like da, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, no chance, no yeah. chance that's happening. Mm -hmm. so that's really good too. This is just like a, it's very much. Like a beef teriyaki? Yeah, like you said, it's a safe bet. Yeah, so good. Lots of protein. Mm -hmm. oh, is there cheese in this? I'm not sure. Oh, my God. They're both so good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to finish both of these. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> there's actually a, there's a leftover fork there. Yeah. I think you can dig in a little bit. But I'm definitely I don't know about mine, though. <laughs> so good. Mm -hmm. um, I wish we got to talk about more about Langley, but your story is definitely so inspiring. That um, yeah. we didn't even have time for that. But uh, you said you were in Walnut Grove. Yeah, Walnut Grove. Oh, one plug I want to give, Fort Strength CrossFit. I started doing that about a year ago. If, you guys, if anybody's looking for somewhere to work out in Langley, incredible. Um, best workouts of my life, best shape I've ever been in. Um, that's one plug I, I came here then knowing that I wanted to make. Great, great gym. And uh, just down the street from me in Walnut Grove. Fort Strength. Fort Strength, yeah, mm -hmm. CrossFit. Okay, awesome. Yeah, yeah. no, uh, I, uh, CrossFit's definitely something that I almost dipped into mm -hmm. because – I got to the point with uh, working out where I got just so boring. That's where that was me. So yep. boring. You just put your headphones in and like don't talk to anybody. Whereas this, it's like, it's like communal. You're, you're doing it as a team and like friendly competition with the team. It's um, yeah, it's awesome. It's very much a sports dynamic. It is, which is like yeah, what growing you're up used to yeah. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, because that 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 brings me back to you know you know when you do fitness day, um, mm -hmm. on the court or field or whatever you're playing. But yeah, it was uh. It, it pushes you a little yeah. bit more. You see somebody else struggling, yeah, and then you see them break that, get through like, it. Oh, yeah, man, like, that's awesome. He can do it. I'm gonna do yeah. it. Yeah, so true. So that definitely that, that and, and so what I've been doing um, is uh, just once or twice a year is we try to do the um, Murph, Murph, yeah, the Murph. Yeah, I haven't done it with a weighted vest. Yeah, yet. I haven't done it at all. It's but hard. It, yeah, it's coming up. I think Murph Day. I think it comes. It's like May or June or something. Yeah, and I think we're gonna start training for it. But yeah, what is it? A 20 pound weight vest. Yeah, you could, it depends, 10, 20 pounds. Oh, okay. You could do it with nothing, yeah. right? But you're essentially doing 100 uh, pull-ups, 200 uh, push-ups, yeah. and then 300 air, air squats, jump squats. Yeah, and you run a mile or something. Uh, you run... Uh, you run something, I think. Uh, what was that? Was it two miles? Was it two one miles? at the beginning, one at the end. Yeah, right, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I got the running down now. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm playing soccer my whole life, but still, like, I never physically trained for running. Yeah. Which is pace yourself. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> not, not stop, go, stop, go. Yeah. Like well, no, before it was like, uh, when I did the Murph the first time, I pretty much sprinted. Oh, did you? <laughs> I was like, let's finish this mile. Yeah. 
I'm like dusting everybody. Yeah. I'm like, ha, ah, I got yeah. this. And then, and then we get on the bar and I'm sweating. And yeah. then I'm like on the bar and I'm slipping. Yeah. And then they're rolling up. They're like, yeah, that's why you don't kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and so like by, I think like, I think it was like the fourth or fifth round. Cause how it works is you do it in increments. Right. Yeah. yeah you do yeah. like, well, you do like, uh, you do five pull-ups. Right. Um, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats. Okay. Right, so then you go 5, 10, 15, and then you do 5, 10, 15, right, yeah. until you finish, and then you go and do that mile. So by the third or fourth round, so yeah. you do 20 rounds of that. Jeez, yeah, that's a lot. Right? Yeah. By the fifth or sixth round, I was done. Yeah. Done. <laughs> I couldn't do any more. And that's like, yeah. it, sound, it sounds crazy to do 100 pull-ups, but when you do it, break it down like yeah. that. It, you know, it makes it a bit more manageable. Yeah. But that first run totally ruined you it. You gassed yourself, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the Murph is definitely. I'll remember that when we do it. Definitely, yeah. Take your time. Yeah. Um, you'll you'll surpass people who who are sprinting, and you'll surpass people who are. Um, it's all about yeah. Uh, well, well, the pull up side. Yeah. Right? Don't try to be clean. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Just those get, are, they're gonna be sloppy pull ups. Just get your head over the bar. Yeah. 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 So By any means necessary. Yeah, so yeah. You, got, you guys are going to do it? Yeah. Are, when are you doing it? Uh, I, we're going to start training for it soon, I know, because I started exactly a year ago, and that's when they were starting the, to train for it. So, yeah, it'll probably be in the next month or so. Cool. That'll be fun. That's fun. Be a good that's test. A, it's a good time for yeah. sure. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah, I, uh, I'm i glad I finally got you on mm -hmm. after that accident. Yep, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> things happen. Um, and then, so I'm actually trying to get uh, someone from Brookswood on, uh, trying to get a few people on cool. there so we can chat about nice how you can maybe help me get them yeah on yeah if you have, and stuff yeah well cause... funny enough my cousin is now the principal oh what yeah yeah lisa yeah that's my uh, my cousin weird to say that my cousin's the principal of a high school um but yeah dano um he coaches there um mr power ran into him a couple weeks ago he coaches there mr stewart yeah yeah there, for sure yeah uh, little little stewart's killing it, he uh, when I, heard. I remember watching him play when i was grade 11 and he was yeah, it's still in elementary school, and it's just like this guy's a basketball player at like you know he's seven years old and just like running circles around everybody, and still he he's just kept that up. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. So this, the rumors are true then. He's really good. <laughs> yeah, he's, and he's still young. Like I don't I don't know what grade he's in, but he's not a senior yet. I know that. Um, but he, he plays on the senior team. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but he's still young. He's still young. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to see you because they did really well in provincials this yeah. year. Yeah, they so, did. <clears throat> yeah, the, it's cool to see that. You know, we're back in there. Yeah, that's because, right. Uh, we had some some down years. Oh my god! Yeah, I remember we were in there. Yeah, like, we were we were just the shame of the. Yeah, it was not a good school. Like, not a good time. Never didn't even make provincials. No. I don't think. No, for a that while. It was rough, and then the girls just killed it yeah, as they're, always. Yeah, they're they're always good. That's funny. Oh yeah, speaking of Brookswood, just one last note. Um, <clears throat> if you're if you're looking for a sports school. Right, uh, specifically in basketball, yeah. in Langley, best basketball school 100%. in Langley. Yeah, I'm gonna say it was Brookswood. Yeah, because the, what they drilled into us back then. Yeah, was something that I still remember to this day. Yeah, and that's the 6 a.m. Yeah. training. Like Dude, in I, high I think school, about that all the time. grade eight, from grade eight, they were telling us come in at six. Yeah, before school, school. Yeah. to to run a drill to run drills. Yeah, not even practice, just like yeah. come in get the yeah, reps in. Yeah. Yeah, every day. Yeah, I did that five days a week for a long time, a long time. I miss that. That was actually a lot of fun. Yeah, it was good times. I remember, like, leaving December and snow's out, but we're still walking to school to get our reps in. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, because yeah, uh, then ultimately they were just like, if you – like, you could suck, though, too. This is what oh, I yeah. remember. Yeah. I, there was players who started over me Yeah. Um, because they would show up, and yeah. I didn't. Yeah. And it was, it was like, okay, well, you'd see the results. Yeah. <clears throat> Sometimes, like me, my ego is like, yeah – coach like what do you why is he on what right do you now? see yeah you know like obviously i'm you know a little bit more skilled yeah but he's like you never showed up yeah right yeah. so you know they're showing that they actually want to put in work they yeah. want to get better yeah. and they're gonna be more clutch than you because yeah. you are unpredictable yeah. yeah you're good yeah but when the time comes where you have to be comfortable and and relaxed yeah. you're not going to be yeah. whereas these people they got their reps in they they're a little bit more fluid with everything yeah um, and, and that's why you're sitting. Yep. And I was like, damn, okay. That so now sense. that's makes in sense. my head. Yeah, that's same. Yeah, I miss those days. That was a lot of fun. Did you play with Vasily then? Um, he played – I played senior with yeah. Vasily. Yeah, okay, yeah. He that was that good. year where we had, like, three seniors, I think. Yeah. That was rough. That's a, that's a bad – that's an off year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, you yeah, know, even actually speaking of Stuart and uh, the coaches from Brookswood, I was running today – I was at the gym. I try to do 5K every time I go to the gym. Yeah. The last, like, 
kilometer is the hardest, yeah. last two kilometers. I bet. In the back of my head today, because you always got to pull different motivations yeah, yeah. out. So this, I had all my coaches yelling at me. Nice. Yeah. I was like, you're shit. <laughs> yeah, like, you suck. You're, you got to do better. Because, yeah. like, I was listening to, to, like, a podcast about motivational speeches and everything like that. And they were all saying on there, like, you got two voices in your head, right? You got your mom, you got your dad, right? Yep. Or you got, like, you got that mom, like, nurturing, nurturing voice yep. that's like, it's okay. You know, it could be a coach. It could be anybody. Your, your, your spouse. Yep. You got that voice. It's okay. You don't have to go hard. And right. You got that voice who's like, you got to do better. Yeah. Like, your shit. Yeah. Not in a negative way, yeah, but in a way do where... do better, yeah. So, like... Today, I was like, I need that voice. Nice. So I started thinking about, like, okay, where did I got cut from? I yeah. didn't make that team. <laughs> I didn't get it put on that game. Yeah. When the coaches swear at me, because my parents never actually, like, they were never, like, super pushy like that. Anyway, yeah. So right. I can't use their, yeah, <laughs> their, their words, voices. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, it's crazy what that does. To yeah. it, so. it can help for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, anyways, thanks again. Where can people find you? I forgot. Uh, birdies.com, B-R-D-Y-Z.com. Um, like I mentioned before, Golf Town across Canada. Uh, we're getting our first, first shipments out to them. I should have done it already. I've just been behind. But, um, yeah, by next month, by May, we'll be in Golf Town across Canada. Um, Langley courses, you can go to Newlands. A lot of them are closed down right now for the pipeline, actually. But, yeah, Newlands and Langley, they, um, they carry our hats. But, yeah, if not, birdies.com. And they can just, yeah, order online? Yeah, order online. If you're in Langley, you can do... Um, Pick up from our house or uh or we'll ship it awesome okay well yeah thanks so much thank you yeah this is today. good yeah. yeah um if you guys have any questions for jamie comment down below or message him directly on social media thanks so, got so much for watching yep. um comment down below like i said subscribe um youtube likes to recommend videos for you so right here that's that's youtube they know what you want to watch next and right here subscribe to this channel we do uh, episodes like this every single Wednesday, Thursday. So we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.